Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. So I got an email from a subscriber and this subscriber sent a donation. So thanks for the donation. And remember, guys, if you want it to be a guarantee that your question will be answered, uh, make sure you click the link below and send a donation because I get a lot of questions so I can get to each one. But if you want to make sure your question get ans gets answered, you can send a donation. All right. So this one says, um, I've been through a bad marriage and relationship um, both women knew I was heavily tattooed and, con and would continue to get ink and that I have a high sex drive. Uh, after about a year into the relationship, both topics became major issues. They would complain about me, get me getting another tattoo. And when are you going to stop? Then all the sex stopped and they would complain that my sex drive is too high. I'm not in the mood they would and they would say I'm not in the mood and I would and they would just lay there. How can I find a woman for a long term relationship who does not pull the bait and switch on me? My needs have to be met for me to be happy. All right. So basically, you're just saying that, you know, you would be with these chicks and everything will seem it'll be cool. But then once you get into the committed relationship, then they would have an issue with you, you know, getting tattoos and, and, and an issue with your high sex drive you understand so when you get with them now that it's an issue now they don't want to have sex as much and all this other stuff right now this happens a lot where guys get involved with women and then you know you're dating them and then you end up making them your girlfriend or you end up getting married and then things sort of like stop happening like they used to you know they start doing other shit that or they stop doing shit that they used to do and it kind of gets lame you feel me so what you guys got to understand is this if you're actually trying to like get into a uh committed relationship with a chick if you're trying to marry a girl if you're trying to have a girlfriend for long term or whatever you have to make these women wait before you give them any type of commitment you have to make them wait and how long should you make them wait? I say anywhere between five to ten years, you should make a chick wait. Anywhere between between five and ten years. Anything less than five years, you're 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 uh you're doing it too too quickly. This is why guys they meet a chick, they end up being with a chick for like ten months, and then they're like, oh, we're getting married, or this is my girl. No, make that chick wait. And the reason why I'm telling you to make them wait is because what's going to happen is is that over time. A chick is going to reveal to you who she is in, you know, in relation to you. You understand know like how she's going to, you know, be interacting with you, the type of things she's going to do, the way she's going to act. So if you give that five to ten year uh, situation and then you say, OK, well, you know, we, we've been dating each other for this long, then, OK, look, I'm going to make you my girl. So what I mean by five to ten years is that you literally should just be dating a chick for that long meaning that this chick isn't your girlfriend this is not your wife this is just some chick you you know you go out with you hang out with you have sex y'all you know spend some time together doing this and that and you just keep doing that for for this long amount of time now what's going to happen is is that you're going to have certain chicks who are going to try to force you into a relationship they're gonna be like oh but we've been together for for a year and a half you know we should make it official and blah blah no listen wait let that chick wait you understand what i'm saying and the reason why i'm saying this is because you want to give her time to reveal herself so if when she starts to reveal herself she'll either show you that she is the type of chick who's worth being in a relationship with or the type of chick who's not worth being in a relationship with. And this is the main reason why when guys get married, you know, they end up getting divorced and the shit goes crazy. It's mainly because these guys, they, they, they end up wifing a chick too early. They don't, they don't give it enough time to see how she really is. Because if a chick is really down for you, if a chick is really feeling you, if a chick really likes you, she's going to stay with you regardless. You understand if she's on some, oh, well, we got to get married and how come we're not together? How come you're not my boyfriend and this and this and that? And then she gets upset by that and wants to leave. That means she wanted the title of wife or the title of girlfriend more than she wanted being with you. You understand? And see, they, they'll interpret or misinterpret the fact that you're not uh, committing to them 
as, oh, you don't love me. You don't know. Listen, let that chick wait. You understand? See, a lot of guys, you do it too quick. And then this is why you end up in bad relationships. This is why some guys they end up in, you know, marriages and they get divorced and they complain about alimony and child support and all these different things is because they jumped into the shit too quickly and because they were pressured by the chick and society and they were pressured by society to feel like oh well i, I guess i should do this I, well we were to, we've been seeing each other for a year so i guess we should you know uh you know get together and do this no let her wait you understand and this is how you will actually have better relationships with women if you are if you decide to get into a long-term relationship with them you know, if you decide to make her your girlfriend or wife, because you would have have already taken enough time to feel this girl out to see what she's really about, because a chick is not going to if a chick ain't really about it. She's it's going to be revealed, because if you wait, let's say you wait five or six years, right, then you'll start to see, OK, OK, I see how she is. And, the, and then you'll see, OK, is she actually uh being the type of woman that I want in my life, or is she on some bullshit? And if she's on some bullshit, then you could just kick it to the curb and then keep it moving. If she's not on some bullshit, then you can reward her by making her your girl. So you don't just make a chick your girl. You understand? When you are dealing with a woman and she becomes your girlfriend or whatever, that's something that you uh, basically like reward her with you're just saying look you know you've been doing the right things for this amount of time you've paid your dues and now i will give you this position you understand what i'm saying it's like if you work in a a, a fucking job you understand they're not going to make you the manager like you're on some entry level shit they're not going to make you the manager in three months you understand what i'm saying they're not going to make you uh you know you're going to you go into some company they're not going to make you the vice president of this company in six months. It's, it's not going to happen. You feel what I'm saying? So the same thing applies for when you're dealing with women and you're dealing with a chick and you're trying to uh, have that come to a relationship. You have to let her wait. You have to wait that shit out. You have to see how she's going to be. And yes, five to ten years. See, me and my girl, we were together for seven years before we got married. Do you understand? So you have to give this shit time. And this is, you know, I see a lot of videos where dudes is like, oh, you know, uh, don't get married and don't have a girlfriend and don't do this with chicks and all that other stuff. And in a lot of in a lot of cases, I agree with some of their points where it's like, you know, you don't necessarily even need to have a girl. Some guys want a girl because they think they need that. You don't need that shit. If you want to have a girlfriend, it should be something that you want because it's actually something you like to, would want to do and would enjoy it, not necessarily because you feel like you have to or should, right? But with that being said, a lot of these guys who make these videos, you know, I, I see a lot of MGTOW dudes talking about, oh, don't get married because this is going to happen and that's going to happen or don't have a girlfriend because this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And you know why all that bullshit happens? It's because... You didn't let them wait. So what happened is that you got with a chick. You were like, oh, shit, I'm this girl. She's, you know, giving me some sex and you got all gassed up and she's like, oh, I want to be a girl. And you're like, OK, you'll be my girl. And, and you've only been with this chick for seven months. And now you're like, damn, what the fuck is wrong with this chick and why she's doing this and why is she acting this way and all of that? Because you didn't realize that she was like that. You did not see the real chick. You have to let them wait. You understand? And once you let them wait, the, 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 the real chick will be revealed. And then at that point, you make a decision as if you want as, as to if you want to stick with her or not. See, when you get married or you have a girl, like not even necessarily when you have a girlfriend, because when you have a girlfriend, it's like, whatever, we could just break up. You understand? But when you get married and you got to go through all that other bullshit, if you do get married, you understand? You don't want to have that situation where it's like, damn, you know. We, now we got to be on some breakup shit and that happens because you didn't you didn't let her wait you didn't see who she, the fuck she was really um in this situation so let her wait and you will actually have 
better long-term relationships. Because you're asking, how can you find a woman for a long-term relationship who doesn't pull the bait and switch? See, the bait and switch happens because you are fucking with them too quickly. Five to ten years. You understand? Five to ten years. And the longer, the better. The longer you wait, the better. Because she has to prove herself worthy of being in that position with you. You feel me? So that's pretty much it. Um, listen, if you guys have any more questions, make sure you click the link below um, and send me your question. Again, thanks for the donation. And I'll holler at you later. Remember, guys, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below so you can send me a question and I'll do a video on it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which gives you seven tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And number three, I want you to click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.